your trying get the latest in can cast the blade proven help let you kill yes right for the sheriff station on the action hello hello Oh, this is going well. Yes, it's all about head pounding with a concussion. Yeah, it's um, it's got a very nice atmosphere. This game. That's why I, I say several times that it's it's frustrating that there wasn't a sequel to this game. To get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. Bollocks. Gotta keep the energizers up. So yeah, the great thing with this as well is the manuscripts. If you actually read them, basically tell you what is going to happen in the game. Kind of a little bit of a pre-preparing. Um, which is a kind of a nice little touch in places. Creepy lady, creepy lady. What the hell was that? Creepy lady, creepy lady. Well, that's what that was. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Unfortunately, Duda, that's not the way it works. You're kind of surrounded by it. You've not got much of a choice but to look at it occasionally. There's just the once you've you've picked up all the missing pages, you essentially create the book, which is kind of a nice little touch. Stucky was still out there in the dark, stalking. Not creepy at all, is it? Oh, 
maximum number of bullets. Which is a little bit disappointing. these bullets now. And we're back up to scratch. Gotta remember how to dodge. It does come in handy occasionally. Rather than just standing there going, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Climb by pushing up, it's a shock that, isn't it? Little creepy arrows pointing me in directions. Eerie hand painting graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. So we're now overloaded with batteries, which is always going to be handy in this game. One of those you kind of want to run to get to places quicker, the staircase was broken. but you know for a fact if you run, it's all going to go pear shaped, and they're all going to turn up and hit you with things and make you cry. A load of ammo there waiting for me. Eat my bullets. Hello shotgun, hello friend. <coughs> yeah, we got the shotgun, but we are not using that straight away. Because that would be foolish. Because you've only got two shots. Continue over newly formed bridge. Oh, don't you just feel safe and secure? Always a good thing. I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night. 
I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you still up and around. Okay, money skip page. Plenty of open spaces for enemies. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Guys, a little bit nuts if you can't tell. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to come and get me now, are you? Scared of me and my lightness, aren't you? Yeah, eat it. Please be nice, because I know you're going to come out of the woodwork in a second. Not all that's there for that, yep. Vehicle. <laughs> Yes, yes we are. We all are. It can't be that eyed. It really can't. I think even we all have certain limits to these things as well though. I certainly know work every day is making me a little bit crazy. Oh, ain't that a happy sight? Ah, you yeah, bastard got a little bit closer than I anticipated then. Oh, uh, yeah. Me and, me and conversations about work is uh, always a big mood. Uh. Hello, Alpha. Willkommen. Bienvenue. Welcome. Etc. Yeah, you seem to be having a little bit of fun with your whole um, situation at the moment, don't you? I'm just unfortunately in a job that I despise with every ounce of my being. And unfortunately can't do much to get out of at the moment. Oh, we finally hit a battery limit, have we? About time to. <laughs> I like using the word fun, because be it, it, yeah, it, I just like using the word fun. Fun and games, interesting. They're, they're all they're all fun things to use. Hey, job's a job. I'm still getting paid. You know, ev everything's being covered off. But just unfortunately. Um, the company sucks. Ooh, flare gun. We are getting nicely stocked up with ammo and weaponry now. And I've been waiting to hear back from a, a job for the last week. Um, apparently I'm just waiting for the director to make a final decision about me, but it's just taken a little bit longer than we were hoping for. Um, apparently the, the manager likes me, which is a bonus, but um, it's got to go through the director to make final decisions. And he's unfortunately a little bit of a busy beaver.
But hey ho, is what it is. I'll get a result at some point. Recruiters pretty much said to me, if you don't get this, I'm guaranteeing I will find you work. We will sort something out for you. You're too good not to uh, have something. <laughs> Which is just nice, kind of nice to know. Not turning on the TV. TV is going to have evil eyes. Evil eyes. Yeah, I don't want it to take that long. I don't think I could cope much longer in this flipping job at the moment. Apparently they were having a meeting with regards to me today. Um, but unfortunately it sounds like that meeting ended when they finished work. So they kind of left it there. So I'm just hoping that something can good come, come from it soon enough. We'll see. We'll see. What will be, will be, K Sera Sera, etc, etc. Hello, you! Bye bye! Yeah, you got a little bit too close for comfort there, dude. Bye bye. Yeah, we're hoping beginning of next week. We shall see. We shall see. Assuming I've reached the lights of the gas station alive. I don't like putting my hopes up too high on things. It's just not worth it. I'm too much of a pessimist for my own good at times, to be honest. The parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. <sighs> the deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. That's not creepy, is it? The a week. Was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right, I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her, I'll fix her. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. Bum 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 bum. TV. Crazy. Was I losing my mind? Um, I don't think we want to know where. Um, I'm I'm going to go through the the Guybrush three pud method of he has very expansive pants or trousers, however you want to put it. An Astardis. I like that. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. Does he look okay? Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? Maybe a little bit. I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. 
Mr. Stucky, who's that? Again, this is why I like the idea that it's episodic. But when you're playing it in one lump, it kind of... Mm, it's just a bit weird. Let's, let's find out what just happened that we've just played. If you've all just forgotten what we've just watched. Someone around here has a very loud motorbike at the moment. That they are wonderfully driving around at the most ridiculous times of night. I had that feeling playing some of Max Save the World, mostly because I remember desperately waiting for each episode to come out. It it. Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Episodic games, I get my head around. I I I don't mind an episodic title. Um, but this game wasn't released episodically. You know, it it was released as one lump, but it was split. You know, every game has chapters and you know everything like that. But this this was actually fully set up into episodes, and it's just it was just a bit of a great idea because of the fact that. Um, it felt very much like, as, as I said earlier on, a, a bit of a um, Twin Peaksy style type thing, which works quite nicely for it. Um, but considering, yeah, it's just it's just weird. These look really good. Oh sure, until Barry gets his hands on them, which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Yeah, I can't see shit though, so it's a little bit difficult for me to do these things when I can't see. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just right in your eyes. Just in your eyes. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Yeah, it's, it's as I said, it, I like it as an idea because it does feel very much like an episodic. The way it's been laid out, an episodic film, TV show, something like that, it could work very well that way. You know, if someone wanted to adapt this into a, into a TV show, they have essentially got each episode laid out for them. Um... But when you're doing it in like two or three runs, you finish an episode and instantly you're into the explanation of the next one. It's just obscure. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. And they still haven't improved those kind of scenes in video games. Not 
dyspraxia, disorientation, anything like that. Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? A little bit confused. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Yep. Sheriff Breaker had called him. Small town doctor. To look at the cut in my head. That had been fishing. So, you know, let's examine your head with a massive fish next to you. Always a clever move. Mr. Wake, your well, phone's on the desk. Barged the through. Dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? Not really. I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's. Good people, aren't we? My eyes and made my headache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." God, look at the power of those kicks. Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. You're getting very noisy, Mallow. Yeah, watch the TV. We're, we're trying to concentrate on your missus here. Pay attention to the TV. Stop idly looking around. Ignorant bastard. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler. 
His agent? If you have business with Mr. Look at the state of him. To me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wade. Of course. Barry, you found him. I rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the mess. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. No creepy at all. What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl. Right, wait here. More importantly, Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form for Boy, the go. It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? What was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice, and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Wait here. <laughs> I think this is the form you wanted, and here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. Poor Max. Just a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know, I just don't want any trouble. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster.